Okay, so first of all, I'm going to do equals count ifs. And then for the first part, the criteria range one will be all of the start dates. And I will press F4 to put the dollar signs around that to turn it into an absolute cell reference. So it doesn't change when I drag the formula down. Then the criteria one is going to be less than or equal to. And that needs to be inside quotation marks. Then I need an AND symbol to join that to the cell reference, which will be this date here. So this first part here is testing to see whether any of the start dates are less than or equal to this date here. Or in other words, if any of the start dates come before this date here. And then for the second part, criteria range 2 will be all of the end dates. And I'll press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference. Then criteria 2 will be greater than or equal to inside quotation marks. Then I need an AND symbol to join that to the cell reference, which will be this date here again. So the second part is testing to see whether any of the end dates are greater than or equal to this date here. Or in other words, if any of the end dates come after this date here. And the count ifs formula will do both of these tests at the same time. So it will only count if this date here comes in between any of these ranges. And close brackets and enter. And then we'll drag this formula down. So the 1st of January gets a 0 because it doesn't come within any of these ranges. The 3rd of January gets the number 1 because it comes within one of these ranges. Then the 4th of January gets the number 2 because it comes within two of these ranges. This one here and then this one here. So we'll get a 0 if the date does not come within any of these ranges. And then we'll get a number greater than 0 if it comes within at least one of these ranges. So we can then add a test to the end of this, which will be greater than 0 and enter. And then double click to send that formula down. And this changes all of the zeros into falses and all of the numbers into trues. So we now have a true false test that we can use. And I will put an if formula around this. And I'll say if this is true, then show me the word yes. And if this is false, then show me the word no and close brackets and enter. And then double click to send that down. So no, this date here does not come within any of these ranges or Yes, this date here comes within at least one of these ranges. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to find out whether a date comes within multiple ranges in Excel. And that is everything.